minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Alright, good evening ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and this is another episode uh, of me doing stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and today we are going to build the smallest SSTO that you could probably ever make in KSP. Ever. And of course, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you like to look at it, we are going to use an exploit of the game sure I have that up for you guys so you know I'm not cheating an exploit using a flapping wing design in KSP you can actually use little winglets to flap yourself uh, along the atmosphere at crazy speeds sometimes but we're gonna use that exploit to get us up into an orbital altitude, not into orbit, but like an altitude that's orbital worthy. I don't know how, you, how, how I don't know what that would be called actually, a sub orbital, maybe. And then once we get up there, we're gonna use this to get us into orbit. And I'm going to try to put a small little payload on here, like a little satellite, like a little mini me satellite, tiny, tiny, tiny. And we're going to need power. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and build the satellite first. And actually, I'm going to leave this on the satellite so it gives it a little bit more color. It's not, you know, so small that it's hardly noticeable. What am I looking for? I'm looking for one of these. Here we go. All right. And of course, we're going to put our instruments on here. We've got to have our instruments. There we go. Flip that around. There we go. Uh huh. Good, good. And of course, we need to know just how freaking cold it is out there. Or hot. You do. Again, space is the extreme. So if you stuck your hand out the space shuttle window, the side that was getting hit by the sun would fry and the side that was on well wasn't getting hit by the sun underneath would turn into ice that's how bad it is um no okay this is good we need power for a little satellite so we'll put these on here and that will tilt them inwards And actually, no, we're going to go ahead and do this. Take this, flip it. Then we're going to put that on here. A uh, little bit more. Yeah, like this. Okay, good. There we go. That ah, crap, that looks weird. Um, okay. Good. And the reason why I'm going to do it like this is because we're going to have wings coming across here and we don't want those solar panels in the way. Alright, now we got our basic rocket ready. This is our SSTO, basically. This is it. How many of this? How, many, how much fuel is that, actually? Let's uh, check here real quick. 5.7, 5 5.7, 5.7, Hmm, how much does this weigh? Total mass 0.136, total mass 0 0.07. So this actually has 10 liquid fuel. This has 77 is 14, 1.4. This lays weighs less, but two of those would actually have more fuel. So they're about the same. So Having two of these uh, wouldn't really matter anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our wings on here. We want the small ones, they're like this. 
and we're gonna double them up. So make sure your symmetry angular snap is on. Hold down shift and E key. Oh, Q key. So this is middle. This is just a little bit past middle. And let's hopefully these things, there we go. Turn green, click. Hold down alt, copy. Hold down alt, copy. And you're not gonna be able to get them perfectly lined up. But just try to squeeze as many as you can in there. Not only will this provide lift, but velocity. So the more of these you have on there, the faster your little craft should go. All right, how many is that? That's uh, four, eight, nine, ten, I think. Five. Oh crap, I can't see. They all look alike. It's a uh, five, three, two, yeah, ten. Okay, I got it right the first time. Flip it around, same thing. Let's try to put ten on here too. Okay, shift and E key. There we go. Alt click. Alt click. Alt click, alt click, and that's uh, five. Alt click, six, seven. Oh dear, I don't think I'm going to be able to get ten of them on here. Yeah. Ah, darn it, almost had it. Uh, get in there. Okay, that's eight. Nine. Oh, cool. Ten. Ten. Come on. Ten. You want ten? Yes. Damn it. I had it. I had it, and I was greedy. I wanted to get it closer, and it went away. Get in there. Ah, yay! See what a little bit of motivation can do. All right, flip it back around, and now we need some wings on the sides, and we'll use these. We could use these, but um, the whole wing itself moves, and so that kind of look kind of weird. So we just want something that stays straight, and we want to know where our wing, what our wings are doing. It's pretty close to the center already. So bring that up just a teeny bit. Well, actually, before we even do that, we need to go ahead and put some horizontal, horizontal, vertical, vertical. I think vertical, vertical, horizontal. I cannot think, my brain doesn't want to think today, but that's okay. Straight up and down. <laughs> You want straight up and down little thingamajigs like that because you're going to notice that if you don't have these here and you start going up into the sky, it's going to want to yaw left and right. And if there's nothing there to stop it, guess what? It will flip. All right. Looks good. The mass is still ahead of the lift by a pinch. That's what we want. And we're going to put one right there, and we're going to go ahead and put one right there. Now, I was watching, well, this is almost a month ago. I was watching one of Scott Manley's uh, glider uh, tutorial thingamajigs, and he used the same kind of technique of putting three wings on the side of like a little probe body, but all he did was float around. And I was like, man, there's got to be a way to make an SSTO out of this. It's got too much potential. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This will go into space. It will. I will prove that to you now. We first want to put this thing on a little... A little launcher, since it does have serious problems, unfortunately, getting off the ground as is. 
It needs to have something to fall off of, so to speak. All right, save, land, fix this. So save again, and let's do this thing. Put that right up there, launch. There we are. Ooh, she looks nice. Oh, she looks really nice. I like. All right, let's go ahead and launch. And here we go. As you can see, there's no infinite fuel. Our gravity is not hacked off. There's plenty of gravity because it's pulling the craft back down to Earth now, or Kerbin. So let's go ahead and flap just a little bit and then hold or hit the T key for SAS. Whoa, oh, okay. Um, we had a structural failure there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wow, that's uh, first time for everything. We're gonna, hmm, I think we're gonna have to put some struts on this thing. So it broke right in the middle. I'm guessing because the, because we put 10 of these on here on either side, it shook it really, really bad. So let's go ahead and get some struts. And uh, let's see if I can do some surgical stuff here. Let's see, uh, the middle is what it likes to break. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go like this. I'll make sure symmetry's on. That's good. Same thing on the bottom. Right. Save, and now let's try this again. Now the only reason why that hasn't happened to me in the previous test uh, prototypes is because there's a, I had uh, eight of those little winglet rows on the bottom and on the top. I've never done it with ten on the bottom and top. So I guess it was just slightly more than what it could handle. All right, launch. Let's do this. And SAS. Easy. I don't want to repeat anything. Whoa. Now what we're trying to aim for is about 10,000 meters. That's when the atmosphere is still thick enough to flap our wings, but at the same time um, not as dense as 4,000, you know, 100 or whatever. Anything underneath 10,000 meters is very, very dense and it will shake your craft to pieces or at least be extremely hard to control. So once you get up to about 10,000, you'll find that your craft is easier to control and it still accelerates here we go see how nice it is it's still wobbling but it's not like horrible 13 uh, 13,000 meters uh, 13 1700 meters per second 1900 meters per second 2000 meters per second 2001 2002 uh, 2200 or 2200 meters per second. Why am I saying thousand? I cannot think. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the nose up to about 45 degree angle without trying to flip over. Come on, you bastard! Oh, yeah. That's the only bad thing that you have to look out for. Damn it. It does like to flip around on you if you pull up too hard. Come on, let's do this. Yes, yes. Whoa. 
SAS. Get back up there. SAS. Alright, coming around 10,000 meters. We're going to hold down. We're going to hit the caps lock. Whoa, we're going a little too high, a little too high. There we go. I'm going to hit the caps lock. I'm going to fall down a little bit. Okay, SAS on. And I'm going to use... Well, caps lock is a type of uh, advanced control setting that allows you to do not such hard turns or maneuvers. I forget what you call that, soft controls. I can't remember. All right, for falling, which is not what we want. What the god, 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 jeez. Go down, go down. Okay, I'm gonna turn off caps and uh, try to do this the hard way again. 19,000 meters, uh, 19,000 meters per second, 22,000 meters per second. Why am I saying 19,000? 1,900, ugh, 2,200. And we're starting to fall, so let's go. Oh, that was good, that was good. 45 degree angle, straight up. 45 degree angle, straight up, there we go. I knew I was gonna be able to figure this out. All right, and we should have a, whoa! Nice, check that out. 256,000 meters. That should be, that should be plenty of uh, burn time. Hopefully we won't spend our whole fuel. Actually, I haven't gotten this high up before. This is uh, brand new to me. So we could very likely screw up. All right, let's go ahead. We're about 70, okay, we're in space. Fast forward. Just almost about there and, okay. Stop, pull back. I forget what this little yellow marker's called. I've heard it called prograde, I've heard it called grade, I've heard it called orbital grade. I've heard it called trajectory marker. So, I'm just slightly confused. That's okay. All right, wow, we're way up here. And about 20 seconds, you wanna go for full burn. Try to keep it at 20, here we go. Go, baby, go. Full burn, full burn. Try to keep it at 20, so. All right, I'm still falling. Okay, now we're gaining. Now we're gaining. 14, 15, 16, and 20. So we're gonna let it go down a little bit. And we're gonna try to just keep ahead of this apoapsis. Just keep ahead of it. Throttle's going up, okay, it's going back down. And I just wanna keep ahead of it. Oh, we got a pair of G going. Whoa, she's climbing too. 50, 60, and 70. We are in orbit, ladies and gentlemen, and look at the fuel we still have. Good, Gunga Munga. Wow. And of course, if we had fuel or time or willpower, we would just go ahead and uh, fix our orbit to be nice and smooth, but we're not trying to do that. We're just in orbit. That's all I care about is orbit. Okay. Now, what were we up here for? Oh, that's right. And launch the little guy. There he goes. Satellite away. Try to aim this properly. What the heck was it controlling it from to begin with? Um, aha, okay, it's good, yep, right there. And then, 
telescope. Cool. Even it looks nice. Though. We put we left the coupler thingamajig on there, so it actually looks like it's got some mass or some body weight to it. And of course, we'll leave these solar panels pointed towards the sun because it's gonna die regardless once it gets on the dark side of the planet it's gonna die but as soon as it comes on the other side of the planet these things will be uh, pointing in the direction of the sunlight and it will come back to life there it is teeny tiny awesome flip over and of course a true SSTO cannot be a SSTO unless it has the ability to land safely back to Kerbin um, and we're just gonna try to prove that we're not really gonna aim for the actual landing site because I know we probably won't have enough fuel this is way up there and it'd take a long burn for it to drop so I am going to do what we have to do best in this Arrow break. And of course, because we're arrow breaking, it's going to take a long while. And I am going to edit this part for you guys. Come on, get back there. Why are you. Uh, gosh. Wait a minute. What did I. Oh, crap. I forgot to. Oh, no. I forgot to put something on here for the electricity. Oh, Yeah, that's my bad crap so it's gonna die regardless because there's no power whatsoever getting to it well let's just see if it could make a burn to go back down mm, little burn yep 35,000 meters so it would make it back down to Kerbin and if it had power it would land successfully but because it doesn't have power this thing is just gonna crash as soon as it enters the atmosphere anyway Sorry about that, guys, but yeah. Um, I, I would guess you could put like a solar panel or maybe even a generator somewhere in here, but that would work. There you go. The smallest, tiniest, little bitty SSTO that can be built by man or a Kerbal kind. And I'm sure you could probably make it tinier. I mean, look at that. We still have eight units of fuel left. That's... Uh, that's like a whole fuel tank. So it's possible we could use four fuel tanks instead of five. That is so cool. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I am Beos, signing off.